Oh, baby, you, you make me feel brand new. Cause God blessed me with you. That's how you destroy a song and get a message through. What's up, what's up, Sagittarius? This is Black Madonna HP with Table Etiquette. And you make this person feel brand new. Dang. So this person feel like a kid again. They feel like Una does the Agna got an East West met my boyfriend in the candy store. <laughs> you guys remember those songs? Oh my goodness. I can't remember the last time I seen a kid just sitting there just having fun doing the hair game the hand um games. Like they were so fun. Yeah, I just gave away my age. But anyway, <laughs> Let's go ahead and uh, jump into your reading and, and build this foundation. So you got transformation. Oh, the number 13 is standing out to me, Sag. So the person you're dealing with, their birthday could be on the 13th, on the 1st, on um, um, in January or in March, on the 1st, on the 3rd, something like that. But the, I feel like with this energy, it was some type of... Uh, some type of new beginning and then they have destiny uh let's see what else harmony and temptation you definitely make them feel brand new uh talking about god bless me with you look at that energy so this person was over there alone had that energy but when you guys came together boom but uh what's up with this at now, what's up with this energy here? That's El Diablo. That is a person that that no longer recognizes who they are. Okay? Because, um, it's like, this person is like split in energies. You make me feel brand new. Look at the deep passion in their eyes for one another you do make this person feel brand new but why the hell is the um transformation and um temptation your person name could begin with a t but why is um transformation and temptation at the foundation oh i just rapped ha <laughs> ha why is transformation and temptation at the foundation hey <laughs> anyways but it's just it's some it was some major shifts and there's a 10 down here destiny the ten of cups let's see what happened what's on the, what's on the surface level what's on the surface level for um i'm sorry what's underneath the surface for a sagittarius in their person this person give you butterflies inside or you give them butterflies i'm hearing that too Let's see here. Alrighty. So someone dealing with self-esteem issues. You know what? This card came out so much tonight. I swear to goodness. I don't know why the collective energy is dealing with self-esteem. I know why. Because the winter time just passed and a lot of us been sitting at home eating. <laughs> That's where it's all my us. Oh my goodness. Wow, what is going on here? There was a betrayal here. And this person talking about you make them feel brand new. Is there a brand new person here? And liberation. There's that I, you make me feel brand new. Chill toxic ass. <laughs> uh, I can't wait to get into the tarot because I really want to see like what's going on here. This person do feel liberated. Is it the sexual chemistry between these two? What is it? Let's see. Let's see here. Let's see what's at the foundation. What's going on at the foundation? Because this person give you butterflies and stuff. But you give them some damn um spider webs. Okay. <laughs> it's like um... Whoever was getting butterflies inside, like, are they authentic? I don't know why. 
Let me shut up. Let's get to the um surface first. I want to get to the tarot and see what's going on in this relationship because I'm confused, Sag. What the hell is going on here? Alrighty. Heart. You begin to feel your heart beat faster when you are close. So you do make this person feel brand new. You can make this person want to settle down and get married. Or you guys are married. Or you want to get married. Or they want to get married to you, Sag. And your spiritual journey begins. This could be a um, twin flame connection. Especially with this harmony here. Okay. So let's see what's crowning the reading. Someone's getting messages from spirit too. A lot of messages. Whether or not they're listening, I don't know. But someone's getting a lot of messages. And for someone, Sagittarius, you do make this person feel brand new. Because this person was empty at first. With, and then, like they came full circle into they self, Sag. Let's see. What's crown on the reading? And then we'll get into the tarot. Filmmaker, why did I get that Usher song, Superstar? Superstar from the cover of a magazine. No matter what you do, you always be my superstar. So, um, Sagittarius, they could definitely be singing this song about you because aren't you the Queen of Wands, the King of Wands, that fine ass fire sign, and that tarot? Mm hmm. This person is spinning by you. Okay. So let's see. Let's go ahead and get into the tarot. And see what's going on with you and your person. Beloved. What's up with Sag and their person? How is Sagittarius person feeling about Sag, please? Alright. Let's see what's at the bottom of their deck. So they have the two of ones. They're looking at the world for something. We'll see what it is in a minute. Let's see. How Sagittarius feeling about this person? How Sagittarius feeling about this person, please? Mm -hmm. Sagittarius, you like to travel a lot, don't you? You may have took this person on a trip or vacation or something like that, but they really enjoyed themselves. I'm telling you, I don't know what this betrayal about if somebody left somebody for somebody else, but somebody is feeling on fire. And then they over here got strength. Talking about, I'm looking at the man in the mirror. <laughs> but let's see. What does... What does Sagittarius person want them to know, please? I cannot. Why am I getting songs? I can't sing worth nothing. Beloved gives me songs. So this person is saying, I'm still waiting for you to come back to love, to fulfill this life we're dreaming of another day might be too long go slow so nothing goes wrong so um this person has dreamed about having babies with you Sag this person they look at your text message and they go back over what they said, what you said, what they did wrong, what you did wrong, what could have been said, all that type of stuff. This person can wear glasses or need glasses or whatnot, Sag. But this person right now, where they're getting their love from is from the spiritual realm. Because they feel they feel so drawn and connected to you. It's like they need something to hold them over or something like it could be such a, a beautiful connection that they don't understand because I don't feel I don't feel like you guys are apart I feel like you guys see each other and everything but why is this person waiting what are they waiting for talking about for you to come back to love because they not worry about nothing else coming in nope 
All they worry about is your messages, your your um text, what you online doing, and all that type of stuff. This person days are not as bright without you. You see those star um flowers over there, and even though the sun is shining like that, their life without you is just not that sunny. Cause you know that queen of ones got those um sunflowers next to her. But yeah. They trying to get on for what else does Sash need to know about this person? Mm. Ooh wee, ooh wee, ooh wee. It better not be Sash. It better not be. So Sash, they want. You could be dealing with Earth sign, but they want to settle down with you so bad. It's like. I don't know who this is, if this is you or who this is that's like putting them in this Eight of Swords energy, but it's like they didn't, they're not going in this energy on their own free will. It's like they're waiting for an answer or they're waiting for something before they go. Something that would determine, something that would determine their ultimate feelings or something, Sag, for you. Let's see. Let's see here. How's um Sagittarius feeling about this person? That person energy kind of. Hmm. Let's see. Let's get back to Sag energy. Sag, you could be dealing with the Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or something. They more laid back, and you know, you know how that energy goes, Sag. So you got Hangman, the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Wands, and you have the High Priestess. So, Sag, I see you. You put this person on pause. Hold on, Sag. You put this person on pause, kind of like I just did you for a moment, just to make a point. No, not really. Just to get my vibe back going. But uh, you put this post person on pause while you took care of your business. Kudos for you. But um, you still got a lot of love and stuff for this person. But it's something you know about them. Something you found out. Why is the High Priestess here? Why is the Eight of Swords here? Here you is over here in the Eight of Swords too. Mm. What was this that happened? You have the Eight of Swords and a Death card. You found something out about this person. And that's why this situation ended. So y'all mirroring each other. Y'all both over here thinking about each other. And both got love for one another. But you not messing with them. Why is um, Sag over here in this Eight of Swords energy? Why is Sag in this Eight of Swords energy, please? So it was your fault, Sag. Mm. So what'd you do, Sag? Were you the one that betrayed this person? It was my fault, but I blamed you. And you can't stop thinking about this person, even if you wanted to, is what I'm hearing. Could you stay away at night and think about them? The timing just wasn't right for you two. So you think about this person a lot, Sag. And I feel like, I feel like, like take the energy how it applies but this that's at the center of the reading this betrayal is what's causing you both to be in your um head space this person could be thinking about that you went and started try to start a relationship with a whole another person somewhere satch ain't this your card right here temperance like did they find out through text or you know what satch let me get you an angel message and uh close out this reading because uh yeah, I see where this is going. And I don't want to step on no one toes. What's the message you have for Sagittarius, please? Let's close this reading out. Mm, mm, mm. Somebody better release and surrender to the spiritual journey. Because this ain't going to be something you can fight. It landed right on it. So, spiritual. We shower you with blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arm, and heart to our love and assistance. 
So yeah, it's time to open up for the spiritual journey to begin. Maybe that's why the betrayal happened. It's for someone to get triggered for the spiritual lesson. Okay, Sag. So that's the reading I have for you, beloved. I hope you enjoyed it. Definitely hit that like button. Subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next read, sweetie. Take care.